Welcome to 13th of December's Godly Blessing. Now love is one factor which actually helps a person to move mountains, that means situations. It's not literally moving a mountain. Situations or go down the drain if there is no love in that person's life. Going down the drain could mean that you have no zeal, you have no enthusiasm to move ahead in life. Now generally we depend upon so many people for giving us love or appreciation or respect and that is something which can come to us permanently or temporarily. As for your experience, do you think it's a permanent thing which comes from people, from your surroundings, from your relatives? I know the answer and you do know it. But there is one entity in this world through whom if you connect to him you can achieve that infinite, completely infinite, completely no boundaries, no time limitation of love instantly as soon as you claim that entity, the infinite being, the infinite metaphysical energy, the most powerful being in the world as yours. Let's understand what exactly does he have to say here. Supreme Creator, the Godfather, says, May you be loving to God, and with that power of love, become free from having to work hard. Now when we think that we are doing it for somebody, could be a family member, could be a friend, or when we think that this is a karma, or this is the path, or this is the role given to me by God and I have to do it for Him, imagine the difference. You won't feel as if somebody is commanding you or blaming you or uh, forcing you to do things. You'll think that God has got some plan for me to learn some new things, for me to be pushed so as to become more powerful. So let's say God says over here, the power of love makes hard work easy. Or anything and everyone you know people there have been stories people have gone to lengths for the people they loved traveled across mountains nowadays you can travel easily in the plane but I'm talking about older stories where you could travel across the mountains on foot you could actually go through heat you could go through cold and that's what love can make you do because you can feel completely bodyless and that's what we experience in Brahma Kumaris. When we go for our spiritual classes, we are running for the spiritual classes. It's as if like you're not at all tired when you've reached over there. Why? Because you're running for the love of God. To listen to His beautiful, divine, elevated, soothing versions for the soul. For the soul. Now God says, Where there is love, there is no hard work. I hope you've experienced that. Hard work becomes a form of entertainment. It's like, oh wow, I'm going to learn something new. I'm going to learn some new skill. I'm going to do this for my child. I'm going to do this for my spouse. And I'm going to do this because I'm going to learn something new. And in that learning is growing. Then God says, souls who are tied in various bondages have to work hard. Bondages means, oh, I have to do it for him or I have to do it for her or I have to do it for my children. Or I have to do it for my grandparents, or I have to do it for my brother-in-law, sister-in-law. I have to do it for so-and-so person. And it feels like a bondage. But if you think that you're doing it for God, that everything that you're doing it for God, even though you feel that somebody is using you, but you won't have that feeling if you think that you're doing it for God. Do you have that feeling? Not at all. So then God says, but souls who love God easily become free from having to work hard. Now there is a condition over here. It's not that somebody tells you what to do and how to do it and what not to do and what to do. And you are thinking, well, this must be something God is telling me to do. But if there's something which is going to harm in that action of yours or in that enacting of yours, if you think that somebody's going to get harmed, I believe it's not God who's going to tell you what to do and how to do and when to do any of that. So that discerning power comes when we are meditating when we are actually in connection with God and we have the power to discern and to judge not the person who's telling us what to do, but to judge whether this is godly, whether God's first child, Adam or Brahma, would have done the same thing which so and so person is asking me to do. And that is where discernment comes because we cannot blame the person who told us to do something and it ends up being harmful to somebody else. You know? So that's one condition. So God says then, let this blessing of love 
be constantly in your awareness and then no matter how big a situation may be with love a situation as big as a mountain will be transformed and becomes light like water with love you can change yourself you can accommodate yourself you can mold yourself just like an example in our nature when it comes to mothers in the animal kingdom and even in the human kingdom they can go to any lengths right they can mold themselves they can change their timing they can do so much and it's the power of love which is making you do but if there is one condition in that that i'm doing so and so things so that they will pay back to me or some day they will take care of me or some day i will be taken care of if the intention is like that then it's not god's work it is not at all because there's a little bit of mixture in that there is let's say 50% of good feelings of love but then you mix up i want something in return then it doesn't become god's work see the difference it's a mixture so what we sow that's what we shall reap then the mixture comes back in the form of mixture sometimes they are there for you sometimes they are not there for you so it has to be very pure godly condition and that love can only be taught by god unconditional love for the things which we do in our life to learn more about this to learn more deeply about this how to be in love with god how to be in connection with him to do everything which we have come here to do is what we learn in brahma kumaris you too are welcome to learn this beautiful art is now or never with this om shanti